Hello everybody and welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So today I'm going to be talking about The Walking Dead Season 11 C and my death predictions for the final 8 episodes. So be one for slight spoilers for The Walking Dead Season 11 B because I will be not mentioning certain characters or mention certain characters and you'll be like, oh, what happened to these characters? Well, they're dead. So if you don't want slight spoilers when I miss out a character, don't watch this. It's only so slight if you don't care. Carry on. So I'll be breaking this video up into like kind of five to four groups. I want to be talking about, as I call it, the outcast group, which is everyone that kind of got kicked out of their homes at the end of episode 16. So that's Maggie in that group and Daryl and, and Aaron and stuff like that. Then we will have Negan's group. And then we'll be talking about the Commonwealth group, but everyone that came from Alexandria to the Commonwealth. And then the Commonwealth group, everyone that was there before. That's like Pamela and Mercer and stuff like that. And then we have one final group, which is just me saying, what do I think happened to the entirety of Oceanside at the end of season 11B? So let's just get right into this and jump right into the Outcast group. Just to help you understand, this is like the Maggie group we got and everyone that was kind of just kicked out of the Commonwealth, basically. And first thing, we know that Maggie's going to survive because... You know, they had to announce the spin-offs before the show even ended, so we know Maggie can't die. We know Daryl can't die because he's got a spin-off, which is kind of annoying. I'm really annoyed that we have lots of characters we just say they have to survive because they've been confirmed for spin-offs. Now, these are the two confusing ones. Aaron, I definitely think Aaron's going to die, and I definitely think it's going to happen in the first four episodes of the final eight. I definitely think he's going to maybe die somehow. I don't know how he's going to die because they've botched Dwight's death which is what I was giving him for but I think he will die somehow and it's maybe it could do with maybe a new type of walker I'm getting those vibes or they're gonna redo Dwight's death they they could have like that death with Leah could not be the Dwight's death maybe it's still to come but I don't know but I just have a feeling Aaron's gonna die I don't know how Gabriel I also think Gabriel is going to die this one's very easy I definitely think Gabriel's going to be the death at the end of the show. He's going to be the big death in episode 24. That's what I think is going to happen. And I think maybe they're going to heavily redo Rick's comic death or do a completely new death. And maybe I believe that Gabriel's going to get a killed, but indirectly, maybe be someone tries to kill someone else. I said this in my How Will the Walking Dead End video, that I, have a, I had a little theory where Okay, I believe someone's going to die, and I believe someone's going to try and shoot Daryl, but they miss, and maybe Gabriel gets killed, and then Gabriel will then be avenged by Daryl. That's what I think is going to happen, so that's why I think Gabriel is going to die. Now, Lydia is also a character I feel like is safe and not going to die, and so is Elijah. I feel like both those characters have nothing to do, and they're trying to force a romance between them, but... I just don't think they're going to die and we're going to get some stupid romance in the last eight episodes. Now let's move on to Negan's group. Big guy, Negan, we know he can't die because he's got a spin-off, which is so annoying. Because out of the big four, I cared about him the most, so I would have wanted him to die, maybe. Because why are you giving him a spin-off and they're like giving him roots, which is really annoying. Just, Negan should have died, but they've confirmed he's not. So Negan's not going to die. And Negan's wife. Straight up gonna die because it makes no sense for Negan to have a child and then he runs off to New York with Maggie for a spin off. Anne is straight up going to die to make that spin off possible. In my little How the Walking Dead video end, I also said that I believe it's gonna be a small time jump so that we can age up Herschel enough so Maggie can leave without having Herschel being a child and Negan's family will be dead. So even though he might have a four year old or five year old son get or daughter, they're dead anyway. So there'll be no child for Negan. That's what I think is gonna happen. So Negan's safe. Anne is dead. Now let's move on to the third group. And this is quite a big beef group because we have a lot of characters in the Commonwealth. So first of all, we're going to chuck out the big guys. Carol, we know she can't die because she has a spin-off. There are some issues with the actor apparently, but they've already filmed it. So I'm guaranteed Carol is going to survive even though if the future has changed. Carol is going to survive this season. I hope she doesn't and the Darren Carol show is all like faked, like issues... 194 and 195 where they were faked and the show was the ride was like we're gonna carry on and they just abruptly ended i hope that's true because i would like daryl or carol to die and in an ideal world i would say maybe daryl die but if we could get carol die it'd be great but I just we have a spin-off sadly so she's gonna survive now we have ezekiel 
I think Azu is going to survive because he could have died a long time ago. He could have died in season 10 from his cancer or the start of season 11. But no, they've cured him from his cancer. I definitely think Ezekiel is going to get Maggie's comic ending and become the leader of the Commonwealth. So Ezekiel is another character who is safe. Now we have Jerry. Yeah, at the start of the season, I would have said Jerry would have died. But they haven't given him enough screen time for him to be important enough to die. So I definitely think Jerry's going to survive also. And they're not going to kill off Jerry. He's just kind of there a lot of the time. So I don't think they're going to kill Jerry. Now, Rosita. I don't think Rosita's another character who's not going to die. Just because if they're going to kill off Gabriel, why would they kill off Rosita also? So Rosita's also another character which is safe. We've got a lot of safe here in the Commonwealth. Eugene is also not going to die. I feel like he's got such a big role and he's one of his legacy characters from Season 4. They're not going to kill off Eugene. So I think Eugene's 100% safe. We also have Magna. She's 100% safe just because she survived the Dwight comic death, which is what she would have fitted for. And she has so little use in this story arc. What's the point killing her off? So Magna's also safe. Kelly? I think Kelly's also safe. I just don't see point of killing off Kelly. Yumiko? She's definitely getting Michonne's comic ending because Michonne's not on the show, so they're not going to kill off Yumiko. Yumiko is also safe. Now, Connie's an interesting one. Because I could say she's safe. However, I could say that Connie could die. I can see her dying. Just because it makes sense for the Darren and Carol spin-off. If neither of those characters have any ties to any anyone in the show. Kill off any of their love interests. Will be good. We know Carol is not going to back with Ezekiel. So we don't have to worry about killing off Ezekiel. But we've got to kill off Connie. So I definitely think Connie is going to die and be a casualty of the final eight episodes. Just because it means Cat Daryl has zero ties anymore to the Alexandrian community. Tommy, I do feel like Tommy could die just because he keeps foreshadowing that he can't deal with being in this world that he's in. He can't deal with being a doctor. However, they could give him a happy ending to he's able to quit being a doctor and he's able to be a baker again. So it's like 50-50 in if he's going to die or not. But I'm going to say I can see him dying, but I think he's going to survive. I'm also going to put Virgil in this group, even though I don't know where he is. He seems to be forgotten about since episode 9. But Virgil, I think he's going to survive if he's even in these final eight episodes. If he's not, he could just be around. I don't know what's happening with Virgil. I don't know why we didn't see him. He just kind of got forgotten about. But if he is in these final eight episodes, I do think he's going to survive. Because there's no point killing him off now when they could have killed him off in episode 6 or episode 8. Or episode 9. So both of those characters I think are safe. Princess is another character I feel like they're not going to kill. Because there's no point to kill a lot of these characters. So I'm just saying a lot of them are just safe. Because there's no point to kill them. So Princess is safe. And RJ and Judith I'm going to do them this together. I don't think they're both going to die. But it would be cool to see Judith die. And they could like heavily. Like very loosely adapt. The rick grimes death and give it to a different grimes i just think that'd be cool to have a grimes die even if she's technically not a grimes because she's shane's daughter it would be cool but they're not going to kill a child off so i hope they could maybe try and adapt it and kill a grimes but judith is safe so that's everyone from that side of the commonwealth now let's move over to the other side of the commonwealth which is kind of all the people that were there before alexandria came so Stephine, no, her name is Max, isn't it? Max, safe. I don't think they're going to kill her off. They're going to give Eugene a happy ending. Mercer, also safe. I definitely think he's going to change sides and he's going to become a good guy. So we're going to get a happy end with him. Now we have the three big ones. Pamela, Sebastian and Lance. Straight up, I definitely think Lance is going to die quite early on in part C. I definitely think he's not going to make it past the first four episodes of part C. Episode... 20 i think it's gonna be the last episode at the latest i definitely think they're gonna try and wrap up the lance thing so they can get everyone over to the commonwealth so definitely lance is gonna die he's probably gonna be killed by maggie there are some shots of him very bloody but he's also with carol in some shots so we know he goes back to the Commonwealth at some point so maybe everyone follows him back to the commonwealth and he retreats and loses the three communities he has under his control 
and then he dies in the Commonwealth. Now moving on to Pamela, I definitely think Pamela is going to step down or be arrested. I don't think Pamela's going to die. I think they're going to give Pamela kind of Sebastian's fate in the comics where Sebastian gets arrested for the rest of his life. I think Pamela will. Now Sebastian, and I definitely believe this guy's going to die. I definitely believe they're going to reverse his comic book ending and he's going to be the one to die. And I said in my little kind of How the Walking Dead Will End that I believe that Sebastian's going to be killed by Rick's gun and it'd be kind of a, a Uno reverse card. Instead of Sebastian killing Rick like in the comics, it's Rick's gun killing Sebastian. And I definitely think Daryl is going to kill Sebastian. I think Sebastian will end up killing maybe Gabriel by accident and then that inadvertently would end up have Daryl kill Sebastian or even we could throw it on the walls and be like Sebastian kills Judith to get back at Daryl it could be something like that I don't believe Judith would be die I don't believe she's gonna die but it'd be so cool for her to die just to have that bigger like Daryl's gonna kill him but I don't believe Judith's gonna die sadly I could pray to have like this cool moment but no I can't so that's kind of my death predictions but now we kind of have left the entire group of Oceanside and straight up I believe that entire group's going to die what's the point of showing us in 11b final episode final shot him flipping a coin and then going to black with them all lined up I definitely think he killed them no matter what was on that coin if it was head or tails he killed them all of Oceanside's dead and it'd be really good the way to kind of get rid of all the characters that just disappear when they go to Oceanside like Luke, Jules, you have Sydney, all those characters that go over there and they just kind of disappear It'd be a good way just to be like, they were all at Oceanside, and now they're all dead. It'd be a great way for people to stop saying, oh, where's Luke? Luke is dead. He died off screen at Oceanside when Oceanside was slaughtered. I definitely believe Oceanside is not going to make it even to... It's annoying that they've been killed off screen, because I definitely believe they're dead now. But it'd be, annoying, it'd be cool if we saw that. Or we heard them scream in gunfire over the credits in episode 16. That would have been really cool, but no. But that is what I believe has happened to Oceanside and these are my death predictions so tell me down below what do you think about my death predictions also I'd like to know what your death predictions are down below tell me who do you think is going to die and who do you think is safe I would love to know and if you want more walking dead content please look on the screen I have content all the time that you will be guaranteed to find something else you like and if you always want to keep up to the walking dead and everything with all the shows please subscribe for more content twice a week Every week, guaranteed. But this is it for me today, so goodbye, peace out, and I'll see you at a later date.